Hi, I'm Dr. Jen. Oh, my benzo friends, it has been a while since I've put out a new video. I know. My humble apologies. I have been battling my own health issue that has nothing to do with benzo withdrawal. I promise. I promise. And I have not really had um, what it took to even be doing much blogging or to put out new videos. I have used all of my energy to focus on my Healing Academy groups. You know, we meet live Monday through Thursday, and there's a lot, there's a lot of energy from me that goes into the group. I do presentations and even create PDFs to, you know, to go along with the presentations that we're doing. So I conserved my energy to focus on the members of my Benzo Withdrawal Healing Academy and my coaching clients. So I apologize that blogging and doing videos, blogs for my website and videos for YouTube, kind of had to take a back seat. But I am getting better. Maybe you hear my voice still isn't back to normal, but slowly but surely, slowly but surely. And that's, that's really the message today, is slowly but surely you are getting better. Years ago, I did a video in one of the places where I lived and I had a garden and I remember I walked around the garden and, and I reassured all my viewers here on my YouTube channel that benzo withdrawal is just a season. It is. And as we let go of summer and we reach out and embrace fall, it's a good reminder here as the changing of the seasons are taking place right now that this is just a season. I know, I know, I know. It feels like it will be forever. It won't be. I know that your thoughts want to try to convince you that it's going to be catastrophic, that you know, you're never going to get well and all these horrible things are going to happen. I know. That's normal for benzo withdrawal because what's happening is state drive story. And so your nervous system being in that protect state since you don't have enough working GABA receptors to keep everything calm, you are going to be in the protect state and the protect state drives really negative thoughts and feelings. So please just do your best. Do your best to just observe them. Just observe those thoughts. Don't believe them. You don't want to argue with them. You don't want to fight them. You don't want to get into a battle with them because that just drives your nervous system even deeper into the protect state. And they may get the upper hand because they might even make stuff up. So you just, oh, there's that intrusive thought. Oh, there's that thought that says this horrible thing's going to happen. Just observe them. Your thoughts, and if I'm going to say this, and so if you've watched my other videos, maybe you know exactly what I'm going to say. It's a bit vulgar, but I promise you, after you close this video, you will remember this. Your thoughts are no more significant than your farts. They're just body functions. That's all they are. They're just body functions. So when you pass gas, what are you experiencing? Oh, that's my digestive system. So when you have this intrusive or very scary negative thought, what are you experiencing? That's right, your nervous system. So just observe all the negativity and know that it will eventually fade away as your receptors, those GABA receptors upregulate and your nervous system comes back to homeostasis. And if you are like most of us, especially if you are living these four cornerstones of well-being that I'm a huge advocate for, in fact, I've trademarked them and I'm working on a book, I'm getting close to being done about those four cornerstones of well-being, eat right, a whole food plant-based diet, move enough, stress less, and connect well, especially if you put these into practice, I know it sounds like that I'm selling snake oil, but I truly believe with my whole heart that when you get beyond benzo withdrawal, the sky is the limit. I am, I'm 66. I am not as pretty as I was in my 30s, definitely not as strong as I was, but I am the best version of me, without a doubt. I 
matured spiritually, emotionally during benzo withdrawal. I allowed benzo withdrawal to be a time of deep healing of everything that I needed to heal, everything that I brought to the party that got me on a benzo in the first place. We can use this time to really heal, not just from benzo withdrawal, not just those receptors, but to heal our hearts and to heal our souls. I know, sounds a bit, a bit hokey, I know, but it's true. Most of us get to the other side and we feel like we are better for having gone through this season that I know is scary and challenging, but most of us feel like that the pain and suffering that we experienced paid off, that it wasn't for naught, that now we have a better, brighter outlook on life. We're more confident, more compassionate, more creative. You'll see. You'll get to the other side. You really will. So please keep going. Use all of your coping skills. And if you need more help, book a coaching session with me or join the Benzo Withdrawal Healing Academy. I am going to be making a video about the back end of it because I think people just think it's a traditional support group, but it's so much more than that. We meet on Discord, so we've got all these wonderful channels with so much uh, advice and resources. We've even got no one else has it. We've got a system checker that you put in little code and the symptom that you were concerned about. It will go out into the, into the ether and find anything that is correct about that symptom. You know, if I've done a video or a blog and it'll give you ideas on how to cope. So we've got a lot of resources and we meet live Monday through Thursday. 9 o'clock Pacific for 45 minutes, and everything gets recorded, so if you can't make it, you can watch the video at any time. I've got hundreds of them there, but also you have direct message to me Monday through Friday, and I check my direct messages a few times a week. I will make a video about the back end of it and show you, but if you feel like you need more help, please don't suffer in silence. Please don't suffer alone. Please, I'm here to help. I am so passionate about helping this community because... I know 14 years ago, there wasn't that many resources available. There's a lot more now, thank goodness. And doctors are mm, slowly but surely, maybe, well, I don't know about the surely part, but slowly, slowly getting a little bit more informed about benzo withdrawal. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So please know I've been quiet because I've been dealing with my own stuff and doing my best to take really good care of myself. But I'm starting to turn a corner, and hopefully <laughs> you'll see more videos, definitely more blogs. Recently, I've gone down a beautiful rabbit hole, a good rabbit hole, of uh, research on why do we have pain in benzo withdrawal? You know, we often think about the GABA receptors, and, you know, we are out of balance. We, you know, it's hyper-excited. But what's really going on? So now I'm uncovering information about, like, neuro... Um, inflammation and the immune, uh, the immune system inside of the brain and what it's doing. So I will be blogging about that. I shared a lot of it in the support group today and did a presentation on it, but I will be doing my best to uh, create a blog soon and start giving more information on what exactly is going on. But more than that, what can we do about it? And one of the best things we can do about it would be to embrace those four cornerstones of well-being because each and every one in their own way help reduce inflammation. They do a lot more than that, but they do help that. And we really do need that in benzo withdrawal. So from my heart to yours, thank you for your patience. While I was quiet for quite a few months, I appreciate it. And I appreciate when a few of you, I know you reached out and you know, all the well wishes. Thank you. They mean the world to me. I really do appreciate it. But please, until the next video, hold on to the knowledge. This is a season. You are going to get through it. It will get better. And all that negativity that's telling you otherwise, just observe it. It's just your hyper excited nervous system 
being in that protect state generating because state drives story the state of your nervous system fuels and flavors your thoughts and feelings it's just your nervous system so even today because i'm a human being with an ego and you know things can shift me over into the protect state i don't stay there too long because now i have all these tools but i'll just go when i get that negative thought that's a that's a thought fart that's and and i can kind of giggle about it and go oh that's just that's just stinking thinking, and I can let it go. I hope you will do the same. And I am here. If you need me, please, again, feel free to book a coaching session or to come and join us at the Healing Academy. Good stuff is going on there. Oh, my goodness. It is, it's just a wonderful place. All the members, we focus on positivity and healing. Yes, it's okay to, you know, to, to reach out to me and and tell me the fears and your symptoms and what's going on. We, you know, we don't stick our heads in the sands by any stretch of the imagination, but the overall vibe is hope and healing and positivity and love and safety. So I hope that you'll come and check us out. All right. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And if you are in Florida or anywhere in the States that was impacted by Helene or, or Milton, or if you've got friends, family, loved ones that were impacted, know that everyone is there. Everyone's in my thought and prayers about that. I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. I lived there till I was 15. And when I was six, I went through a category four hurricane called Hurricane Dora. It came, the, the eye wall came in uh, just a little bit, not far at all, uh, south. It came into St. Augustine. I was in Jacksonville. So I have a, um, a deep respect, a deep respect for hurricanes. So just know I've been watching all the live feeds, been trying to keep up with everything. Um, so you're in, my, you're in my thoughts and prayers, truly. And we will all get through this together. All right, dear friends, please have a peaceful weekend. And I will be back soon. Please take good care.